So this is about fasting and charity because charity charity makes up for a multitude of sins because it's where it's where it's at charity is whatever's in your pocket is connected to your heart wherever your heart is you're either gonna let go or you're gonna hold on you either have more than you need and you don't want to let go or you don't really have much and you're willing to let go and you wish you had more in order to help so the the mindset of it all it really doesn't matter what you what you make or what you don't make what matters is charity in your heart are you willing to give and help no matter what are you willing to sacrifice something because are you like me where when you get up in the morning, you like to have a, a warm meal. So you go to, you know, either Wawa or wherever you are. If you're in Florida, maybe there's a Circle K or in the South. Do you get up, like if you have a job and you go every day, are you the kind of person that buys lunch? Or you buy uh, breakfast and lunch? Well, I am. And... <clears throat> Right now, I don't, I don't have, because sometimes I don't get paid every two weeks. I took a vacation this week and I don't get paid for it because I took the remaining balance to pay off the truck that I borrowed money from my boss in order to have a bigger down payment so my payments are less throughout the three years. So I paid that back, but I have to make my money stretch for the two weeks just in case. And so my rent's paid, and I have some bills sitting on the table that need to wait. So technically I'm broke because I have a $300 electric bill and a $200 cable bill, and that's about all the money I have to my name. So I'm gonna wait until I get paid to pay those. Now, So Colleen sent Richie from the UK uh, a few bucks, like $9.11. And she also sent me to 83 But that she sent that to me when I was asking for it for myself. But I wind up transferring that to Richie's account every, every cent that I have in the PayPal account. And then, um, and then I transferred another... Uh, because I got a couple, I got a couple of another eighty dollars that's on hold, and um, and then I think like a sixty, transfer like sixty five dollars, and somebody sent twenty dollars, and Heidi sent two her two three bypass, and that's the whole point. Heidi, who only makes a few bucks from the government that pays her for being, um, you know, batshit crazy. Well, she gave the very little that she has which means more because that's when I say where is your heart well some people say I don't really have the money that I don't have the but do you have two dollars and thirty cents you can send a two three bypass so the point is this altogether the money that I generated is around 250 between 250 and three that was sent to Richie from my subs. Justin sent a few bucks to him, and you know directly. And I'm waiting on the. There's an $80 deposit that it's taken seven days to clear, so I'm going to send that when that clears. Uh, but other than that, I don't have anything else to give. So, but here's what I can do. And here's what I am going to do. I'm going to fast for this entire week. And the money that I would normally spend for breakfast and lunch, well, it's, it's at least $10 in food. Because in the morning, it's like an average of $10 to $12. I get my energy drink. And I get a bowl of 
egg bowl. And then for lunch, maybe I'll stop at Dunkin' Donuts. I'll get a coffee and two uh, sausage, egg, and cheese wraps or, or whatever. So it adds up to at least $10 a day for the food that I consume. I'm going to take the $10 that I make in a day, I mean, that I would normally spend out of my pocket, regardless of anything. I'm going to take the $10 for the each day, and I'm going to send it to Richie. Well, I'll send it at the end of the week, that way it's a one-time fee. Or does it matter if it's a... I don't know, if, it, if, it's, if you're sending $10... Do they subtract? Is it twenty cent? Is there a fee every time, or is it is it a percentage of the money? I don't know. I'll find out. I'll see what it's like. But I'm gonna sacrifice because I, me and my wife are doing the fast anyway. It's just, it's just that time. It get sometimes we get to that that point where we just feel like we're overeating and not really for her she she has this demon that she's been fighting off that, that when she looks in the mirror it talks back to her it's the same demon that runs her best friend's life that she tries to cast demons out of her but she realizes how frustrating it is because I try to do the same thing for her when her demons are controlling her with the delusion and the ones that lie to her when she looks in the mirror so that spirit gets cast out when you fast because you're able to recognize it more so it's time to do a fast with me and her so I started mine yesterday I had my breakfast yesterday today I drove to Wawa I got my energy drink I didn't buy anything so today I'm going to have $10 available to send to Richie for his rent because the goal was a thousand and I'm not going to stop until that thousand is reached. If I have to do it myself, I'll do it myself. If it takes uh, three months to do it, then it's going to take three months to do it. So what? It's about the goal itself. The dollar value of a thousand dollars needs to be reached one way or another. So if you're that kind of person that buys Brefix in the morning and... Um, and you don't have, you know, you don't have any extra money to, to help somebody with their rent because of the way the system is and shut, shutting everybody's jobs down. I'm just fortunate to have a job all the way through, like nonstop. Not everybody's fortunate like that. So if you're that type of person that buys food in the during the day, or you spend at least ten dollars a day. The way that you can help, if there's a hundred of you is doing this, there's a thousand dollars right there. It's it's just so simple that, but are people willing to do it? It's not like you're miss. It's not like you are uh, taking away your money. This is something that you are going to consume it anyway, and you're going to crap it out later. So what you're putting through your system. You're pay, taking $10, you're buying this for the day, you're putting it through, you're going to crap it out later the next day, and it did you no good, nothing. It's just food, poop. But instead of doing that, sacrificing the one day, just one day, if people can do this just one day, and, a, and I'm going to do it the entire week, so for one day, it shouldn't be a problem at all, but it is because it's people aren't used to fasting. You're doing without, you're sacrificing. If a hundred of my subs can do that in one day, that you guys are the type that you, you do spend money for food each day, like for yourself. Well, decide to fast for 24 hours. And that money that you were gonna spend send instead of spending sending you can send it directly to Richie's PayPal or you can send it to mine and when I make the transaction I'll do the video and I'll show the bounce 
and I'll then and then I'll show you that whatever the balance is goes back down to zeros. Even if somebody sends ten dollars and I send it to Richie, or you send it directly to him. It's just about helping people in need and with this with the way that this environment is and it's a snow it's a it's a small snowball but it when it starts to roll downhill it accumulates more and more and more because most people don't have money and this is the thing like yeah I understand you don't have money you got to you got to live yourself you got to feed yourself and you got to you got to live well don't feed yourself for a day and send that money to Richie from over in the UK. How's that? It's a sacrifice. It's something that makes you feel better knowing the fact, like today, am I going to be hungry? Well, yeah, of course. I'm sure I'll be hungry tomorrow or the next day too, but I won't think about it because that first initial thought that's trying to get me to look. See here, for instance, I have a bag of chips. I bought them last week. They're going to sit in here until... That, that might even be my first meal that I decide to, to chomp on. But I know that each day that I'm doing a fast, it's not even just the fact that... Because, you know, and I'm going to have... I, I'll have guests on, too, that are hypocrites. The ones that say that you shouldn't talk about fasting out loud. <clears throat> but when you do talk about fasting out loud and you get other people to fast... And then you get them to send money to Richie because he needs help with his rent. And then you see that it actually worked. Well, then you're going to be glad that you talked about fasting out loud. Because it helps people. Like it can literally help people. Instead of just talking about it and doing it, you know, on your own. There's a time where you can do things on your own. There's time where you need to speak up. If you don't speak up about fasting, about sacrificing, about giving, then who's going to do it? But if you talk about it, and then somebody decides to do it, like Colleen, for instance. She sent him money with just, she didn't say anything. He, he told me. And so I want to thank you for doing that. But I do want people to be recognized for what they're doing. And then after they're used to doing it, yeah, you don't need to constantly tell everybody you don't need to constantly show these transactions once once I reach this thousand dollar period I, I want to prove the point that this is how God works in people's hearts if you don't have the money well then make a sacrifice are you willing to not eat food for somebody that can't uh, that is willing to work but there isn't really anything available at the moment because of the way things are shut down over in the other country. I don't know how it is over there, but apparently there's not really much going on. And even so, maybe there are places that are open, but they're not hiring for entertainment for someone to play the guitar and sing. It's like, it's like buying stock at the lowest point. I'm, I'm investing my stock, this Robin Hood's app, this, the Apple, this, the Robin Hood Apple, if you take a bite of this fruit, it's not forbidden. This is actually the, the good fruits that's, it's not rotten. So when I invest into stock that's at a low point, I wait, wait until that stock rises. It's going to rise by them investing in the Robin's Hood app. It's an energy wave that I'm creating. And it's going to work. Because how can it not work? And even for those that, that do fast, this then that's going to be nothing for you. You're going to be like, oh, it's nothing. I can help out, no problem. And then what does that do for you spiritually? It sets you on a on a high wavelength of energy because you know that you're doing something good. Don't worry about how many other people are gonna just I've learned that too. Just let it be. Let it let it trickle where it needs to trickle. Let it flow where it needs to flow. Wherever there's gaps that need to be filled up, it's like water flowing in the crevices of everything. It finds its way. It'll level itself out. It's self-leveling. But 
if you're that kind of person and you have a PayPal account and you do buy yourself food and you enjoy it and you're going to be the next time you if you upload this video you're waking up you're getting ready to go eat something even if it's just one meal it doesn't even have to be a 24-hour fast if it's just one meal if it's lunch let's say you only eat lunch and it's one day and your lunch is the ten dollar ten dollar ordeal because food is expensive and you're willing to pay ten dollars you're willing to sacrifice eating that you're willing to pay ten dollars to crap this stuff out later anyway instead of doing that just don't buy the lunch and donate that ten dollars that you would be spending to to the rent forgiveness program it'll 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 change your life for the better and on top of that I'm gonna show I'll show your transaction it, I mean if you don't mind because I want to I want to be able to have multiple people contributing to this rent forgiveness because what if this thing takes off and and I've gotten the the eyeballs of the ends of the earth the ones that run this planet the ones that they don't even need money they don't need currency it's crypto currency it's exchanging currency through it's like this if I can take ten dollars if somebody sends me ten dollars out of their account that says they have X amount of dollars and I can send they can send that to me And then I can send it to somebody else. And the reality is, I didn't actually dig in my pocket and take dollar bills out. I didn't. I didn't take that money out of my own pocket. <clears throat> it was just transferred by pushing buttons on a computer. So, because that's because that's the way it is. And there are people that run this entire system. Well, why can't why can't you just type into my account, my PayPal account, one zero 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 zero, and just add that to my account? That way, I can take that amount, and then I can go around throughout the whole internet system the, the YouTube world and find people that need help paying their bills why, why can't that happen well it can happen because it's all about just adding you don't actually need see you don't need this you don't need this to have in order to go into the bank deposit it and for them to type in this equals X amount of what you got going on there the system that's being ran here can easily add anything to anybody's account without nothing there, period. So if you're able to fast and sacrifice one meal, even if it's for the month, because this could be a reoccurring thing. You can, you can do it, or if you want to do it weekly, or whenever you want to fast one day, or if you fast for three days, or if you're fasting for seven, or if you fast for one meal, if you sacrifice your own selfish desires of your flesh, because when we feed ourselves, we're it's what it, some of us overindulge, so we're being a little bit more selfish than we ought to. Do you eat a lot of food? Food? Do you spend a lot of money on food? And you decide to fast for the one day? You're helping out. And you're creating this energy inside of you that's everlasting. It doesn't ever stop. And it's a way to just continue on with your energy that you've been able to create from basically scratch. You know that each little bit helps somebody else that needs it. So that's where this is today, this, this movement the rent forgiveness movement. I'm trying to figure out any way that I can 
to to keep it going because I'm not going to just stop even even if it has to be done all by myself I'm going to do it and if I have to keep sacrificing and doing fast meals well it's not just the fact that I'm taking my money and giving it to somebody else the fasting alone is beneficial period I'm just adding to it I'm, I'm adding as much as it as much positive energy as I possibly can to keep riding that wave because when I lay down at night and I think about my day and I think about the future and I think about what's happened that that's the time when I think about things throughout the day I just go with the flow of whatever it is it is and then at the end of the day I I'll think you know how's the day how did it go and how's tomorrow gonna go and uh, and what kind of good feelings that I perceive from communicating with the ends of the earth and trying to mold people into being a little bit more selfless because when you have the ability that with this and you have a PayPal account and uh, even if you don't have this but you do this and you decide to sacrifice for one meal well then do that take this and send that and it's, you're not even sending it to me. Like, this is the best part about it. And when I first started it, putting my PayPal link in my description, I'll do it here too. I'll put Richie's and I'll put mine. So whatever you feel comfortable with depositing into, either way, if you deposit in my account, I'll show in a video the transaction. If you deposit in Richie's account, it's going to be, it's like different people are sending him their offering, which sends a lot of love in his direction and energy in his direction. It's uplifting is what it is. Can you imagine? You're, you're, are you down and out in your rent and you need help and you got people sending you stuff because of an idea that was thought of and was just spoken into existence and it was created and then it started to catch on and then it, it's rolling downhill and it's going faster and faster and it's building up more and more. All because of saying things out loud that people would normally say no no don't do that you're not supposed to talk about fasting that's selfish you don't want to do that you don't want to ask for money you're selfish there's a reason why i asked for it because i want to free up my life but i'm okay where i'm at at this moment somebody else needs help from drowning so instead of me buying a yacht on top of the water driving by looking at somebody drowning maybe throwing them a life jacket now i want to actually pick that person up bring them up from out of the water and set them into the you know little crappy boat that i have that has enough room for people to sit in if i get a bigger boat later on well that's, i'm okay with that too but in the meantime it's about helping people that are drowning in debt in finances and they're willing to work but there's no work it's not like I'm trying to send money to somebody who's not willing to work uh, and they have ex a, an extreme amount of talent they can sing and play to play the instrument yeah it's worth it to me to help them out for real so if you don't want to help that's fine you don't have to there's no pressure but I will be in your head if you're eating breakfast this morning and you are like me and you do spend money and then you'll be like, well, no, I mean, you know what, I'll, maybe I'll do lunch and then lunch comes around, you're so hungry, you're like, I can't, I just, I, I can't, Robin, I, I, how do you do it? And then morning comes around, like, ah, oh, man, I, I really want to, like, I'm just so hungry and then you eat your breakfast and then lunch comes around and, and then it, your conscience is just convicting you that, yeah, you're so greedy, why don't you just stop eating, fatso? And then sacrifice one meal for somebody that actually needs help. So I'll be in your head that way. But this way, I'm not pressuring anybody. And if you don't do it, you don't do it. It's not, you're not going to go to hell. You're already in it. We already live in the damn hell, hell hole. So I'll just be in your head in a way where you'll think about it as you're enjoying that meal. Oh, that meal's so good. I, I, I'm so used to it. I just, it, look, it's a daily habit. I know. That's why you got to kick the habit. You got to create a new pattern. 
sever the old habits and create a new pattern. The greatest pattern that you can create is if you're able to sacrifice one meal, even if it's once a month, to help out to this uh, this rent forgiveness program, your ten dollars, your five dollars. If it's a five dollars, transfer it. I mean, if you trust me, if you trust me that I'm going to do exactly what I said with what I'm going to do with the money, because at number one, I'm being surveilled day in and day out. I'm being paid attention to every single word that I say, everything that I do, and I'm not a liar. I have lied about some things, like stretching my hours, but that's off the camera. On camera, there's nothing to lie about. Off camera, stretching your hours, well, I already repented for that. I needed to be baptized for that one. So, that's a separate issue, although it's tied into my life. So what I do and say, off the camera, on the camera, I know that if I don't follow through with what I say, I lose all credibility as to any as to the person on the planet that tells you the truth. So if anybody sends money in my PayPal account, I'm going to show you the, the balance, and then I'm going to show you where I'm transferring it to, and then you're going to see zeros. You're going to see that it's accepted to the person I transferred it to, and, and then it just continues on like that. So can you imagine if I got people that are like... Hey, Paul Begley, uh, calling all false prophets. Everybody who gets this for speaking lies, you want to help out? Because you know what happens when you give charity? It eliminates a multitude of sins. Because you're willing to reach into your heart and pull some cash out and send it to somebody. Even if you love your groceries, because a lot of people love filling their bellies, uh, they get paid so well, and they they get the uh, and they just eat and yep. Well, if you don't give charity to people that actually need it, it's going to be worse off for you, the false prophets, because you're already lying as it is, and you're already greedy, and you're already fat and rich and in need of nothing, but yet you're miserable, wretched, naked, and poor. But you say, I am in need of nothing. I am rich, but I don't want to let go of my money because my money is where my heart is. It's stone cold. So what I say I'm going to do with it is what exactly what I'm going to do with it. I initially said that I would get needing the 12000 to go to Florida and pay a year's worth of rent. But that still, that still will happen in a in a one way or another, whether it's actual currency or digital cryptocurrency that is just credited towards whatever it is. Because those people that have the ability to do that, they run the planet. They're generous. So can you imagine if I can get through to them, and their generosity starts to trickle downhill, and everybody is feeling generous, and then all of a sudden things start opening up where there's more of a rent forgiveness program that there's more there's more currency added into the account and then instead of going month to month I'm able to help people pay off their rent for the entire year that way you could free up your life and enjoy time with your family is there anything wrong with this movement not at all the only thing wrong is how connected are you to your finances? And how many excuses can you come up with that you don't have it? When someone like Heidi, who barely gets $500 a month, uh, sends $2.30 something cents. Because that's all she has. What if you have thousands of dollars and it's sitting in your bank account right now and you're you're pretty well off? You don't Is it that you don't trust transactions? Well, you have a PayPal account. You've bought stuff online, right? Has anything went wrong? It's, a, it's just about letting go of the greed in people's hearts and the selfishness. Because the most selfless thing that you can do 
as you're living on God's green earth is to sacrifice one meal that you're going to pay today or tomorrow or sometime this week. Sacrifice that one meal and then send that money that you are going to feed yourself with to somebody that can't. Sounds like a great idea to me. A really great idea. So I'm going to do it for this entire week. And then when Friday comes around, I'll send my total amount that I saved from eat, not eating food. Because that, that $50 would have been in the toilet anyway. By the end of, say, Saturday... Because it's something you know, it takes time for food to digest. By the end of this Saturday coming up, I would have eaten and crapped out at least fifty dollars. So instead, I'm gonna refrain myself from eating. I mean, the fast alone just spiritually puts you on a on a wavelength that it just it's just a it's the greatest thing that you can do, especially when you're doing it knowing you're consciously aware that you're doing it. And you're doing it to get that greater connection with the spiritual realm. So that's already the the main reason for doing it. And then it, all, all kinds of other additives to it. Like, like taking the money that you would have spent on food to help somebody that needs to pay the rent. And then can you imagine if you're one of those people? It's like, well, yeah, but I'm, I'm low on rent myself, Rob. And I, I, it's hard for me. Well... Even if you do a two, three bypass, even if you do something, anything, if your meal is only three dollars and you sacrifice for that one meal, let's say you eat breakfast, but you eat lunch too. This time, just don't eat breakfast. All you got to do is wait four hours. You sacrifice your five hours. You send it off to Richie who needs help. And then you eat during lunch. I'm telling you that the that doing that thing you're going to remember it for the rest of your life and so is Richie. Those little things that you do will stick with you and it's a it's a wavelength of energy that you ride because you did something that you never did before. Like you've never sacrificed a meal for somebody else to help them pay the rent. And then can you imagine if you're that person and then this rent forgiveness program just explodes and then, and then that system comes back to you and then that actually helps you pay your rent for that month. and Because it's about helping people month to month, separate individuals, and then year to year, depending on how fast the movement goes. So you can be that person that is struggling yourself, but you still give what you can, like Heidi did, to set the example.